Now, speaking of tens of billions, we've got used to the, the budget being tens of billions of dollars out when it comes to the estimates on commodity prices, but there will be some move on that front in a bit over two weeks from now with that second budget. Well, that's right, Kieran. In the last four or five budgets we've covered, they've contained much lower commodity price forecasts than have ended up occurring in terms of the actual commodity price. That has meant each year the budget bottom line has improved. These are the prices that were assumed again last October. US $55 a tonne for iron ore when the spot price at budget time was $91. $130, $130 should I say, a tonne for metallurgical coal when the spot price was US $271 a tonne. And the thermal coal price was said to be coming in at US $60 a tonne when the price was $438 a tonne. Now, you could say that the decision to change the commodity price forecasts is prudent and more honest than the previous forecasts, given that the numbers consistently come in higher. But what this change also shows, in my view, is just how much trouble the budget is in from demands like the NDIS and aged care. Economist Chris Richardson has told me that annually the benefit to the budget of a $10 change in the iron ore price will be $3 billion a year. For a $10 change in coal, it's $1 billion a year. So if they raise the estimate just $10 on these minerals, that's $16 billion Jim Chalmers gets to bank over the forward estimates. Here was the Treasurer talking about the commodity forecast changes at a press conference on Monday and the Prime Minister discussing it with me yesterday. There are good reasons to maintain a conservative and cautious approach when it comes to those commodity price assumptions. Uh, my inclination uh, is to accept the recommendations of the Treasury when it comes to changing uh, in a moderate way, in quite a restrained way, cautious, conservative way, uh, the way that we go about making those commodity price assumptions in the budget. They have a pretty firm view and a clear view that the time is right to change those assumptions. Will they be going up by much? Uh, well, you'll, you'll have to wait, of course. Not too long now, Andrew. It's only, I think, two weeks oh. away. Uh, so you'll, you'll have to be patient. Yeah, they're going up, but we won't tell you by how much until budget night. Well, here is opposition leader Peter Dutton claiming this is Swananomics yesterday. I mean, that's Wayne Swan all over again. I mean, don't forget that Jim Chalmers was the chief of staff to Wayne Swan. So uh, you saw what they did to the budget last time during the Rudd-Gillard period when Swan was the deputy prime minister at one point and the treasurer. Uh, they will pull out every trick possible. Anyway, with some of the commodity prices we are going to see in this budget and the sorts of revisions up we have seen in the size of the economy in October and we're about to see, are we going to start calling the Treasurer Lucky Chalmers? Sounds like a Budget Day <laughs> newspaper headline anyway, Kieran. Yeah, it does. And uh, maybe someone will pick that up and, and steal that one from you, Andrew. 